in this lecture i will discuss the section 46 of the criminal procedure code this section 46 is contained in chapter 5 of the criminal procedure code and this chapter 5 makes provisions relating to topic of arrest of persons so today i am discussing section 46 section 46 says how arrest is to be made so it says while making the arrest the police officer can actually touch or confine the body of such person who is to be arrested police officer can actually touch or confine the body of such person who is to be arrested and if that person forcibly resist such attempt to arrest or if he attempts to evade the arrest then the police officer can use all necessary means or ways to cause such arrest nevertheless by making such arrest the police officer is not authorized to cause the death of such person especially when that person is not suspected to have committed any such offence which is punishable with death sentence or life imprisonment this provision if we interpret in different manner it gives scope for police encounters so before exploring this provision i will take help of one case law which is reported in criminal law journal year 1998 page 4295 this judgment is given by the bombay high court in the criminal writ petition here petitioner is shrimati vandana vikas wagmare and etc versus state of maharashtra and others in this in the fact of the in the fact of this case police have killed three dangerous persons in police encounter and therefore one of the um, the wife of one of the uh, person who was killed in this encounter has filed this writ petition before the high court regarding asking for praying for judicial inquiry about such police encounter those three dangerous criminals who were get killed in police encounters they were accused of committing offenses of very serious nature which is punishable under section 302 that is offense of murder section 120 clause b section 149 read with section 34 of the indian penal code besides they were also accused of committing an offense under the tada act means that all these three persons were accused of committing such an offense for which death penalty as a punishment is prescribed in the indian penal code thus this all these deceased criminals who were killed in the police encounter they were involved in number of 
serious crime therefore it is observation of the bombay high court that there is a no need of making any judicial inquiry against such police encounter because if such inquiry is asked then it will demoralize the police force and it will dissuade them from doing their lawful duty therefore bombay high court has dismissed this writ petition asking for judicial inquiry regarding police encounter the facts of the case are relating to the city of bombay where there are various underworld dons and encounters between underworld dons and police take place in which either of the parties is been killed there are several gangs functioning in different areas of the mumbai city conducting their underworld activities and therefore it is the responsibility of the police to take such appropriate steps to book such gangsters under the law it is observation of the high court that the duty of police organization or police department is more burdensome than any other department of the government police are highly accountable to the society because society by and large depends upon the risky job done by the police department therefore in this case while giving this judgment bombay high court referred one judgment of the supreme court where the supreme court has observed that some it it is observation of the honorable supreme court that it is necessary to fight terrorism with strong hand which may involve wasting of good amount of discretion in the police officer for fighting such terrorism nobody can say that police should wait till they are shot at so when police goes for arresting any suspected of this person who on the contrary attack on the police with a firearms then it is a observation of the supreme court that nobody can say that police should wait till they were they are they themselves are shot at so it is for the police force on the spot to decide when to act how to act and where to act and it is not for the court to say how the terrorists should be fought therefore in conclusion while rejecting this writ petition asking for judicial inquiry of police encounter it is the observation of the bombay high court that the activities of police in dealing with these three dangerous gangsters are within the legal ambit that is within the within their legal scope and they have not done anything wrong because section 100 of the indian penal code and section 46 of the criminal procedure code provides proper guidance to the police to the police party so regarding the scope honorable high court has refer section 46 of the criminal procedure code and section 100 of the indian penal code so we are discussing this section 
So we will again see the provision of this section 46. Now, this section 46 of the Criminal Procedure Code, its subsection 1 says, in making an arrest, the police officer can actually touch or confine the body of the person to be arrested unless there, is, there be a submission to the custody by word or action. So police has power to actually touch or confine the body of the person to be arrested. Its subsection 2 says, if such person forcibly resist the endeavor that is attempt to arrest him or if such person attempts to evade the arrest then such police officer may use all means all means which are necessary to effect the arrest so if that person to be arrested is evading the arrest then this subsection 2 of section 46 authorizes the police to use all such means, means all force, all legal force which is necessary to effect such arrest. And now the most important is subsection 3 of this section 46. It is drafted in negative terms. It says nothing in this section gives a right to cause the death of person who is not accused of an offence punishable with death or imprisonment for life. So we have seen under the subsection 2 it authorizes the police to use all necessary means or force to effect the arrest. But subsection 3 says nothing in this section gives a right to cause the death of person who is not accused of an offence punishable with death or imprisonment for life. That means if we interpret this subsection 3 in another way, what what the meaning it what its meaning is? So what it says subsection 3? While making such arrest, police officer is not authorized to cause the death of such person, especially when that person is not suspected to have committed any such offence which is punishable with death sentence or life imprisonment. Now consider the case where such person is suspected to have committed any such offence which is punishable with death, punishable with death sentence or life imprisonment. Then what? Then, then in that case, police are authorized to cause the death of such person for effecting such arrest. When, when such person to be arrested is suspected to have committed any such offence which is punishable with death sentence or life imprisonment. In this facts of the case of the bomb before the Bombay High Court those three dangerous criminals they were accused of committing very serious offenses under the Indian Penal Code and also the Tata Act which are punishable with the death sentence and also life imprisonment. Therefore this subsection 3 in other way in fact authorizes or gives the authority to police force, police force to kill to kill while effecting the arrest, to kill any such accused person who is accused of committing any such offence which is punishable with the death sentence or life imprisonment. So here lies the scope for causing such police encounter and killing such dangerous criminals by the police in, police in encounters. Another important provision is there under section 100 of the Indian Penal Code. Section 100 of the Indian Penal Code says 
when the right of private defense of the body extends to causing death. But before understanding this section 100 of the Indian Penal Code, we have to see first section 96 of the Indian Penal Code. It says, nothing is an offense which is done in the exercise of the right of private defense. Nothing is an offense which is done in the exercise of the right of private defense. Then section 97 says, right of private defense of the body. Every person has a right to defend his own body and the body of any other person against any offense affecting the human body. So section 97 says, every person has a right. This right is not restricted to the police. Every person, every person. All citizens, every person has a right to defend his own body and the body of any other person against any offence affecting the human body. And on this background, we have to see the section 100 of the Indian Penal Code. When the right of private defence of the body extends to causing death, it is stated in section 100 that the right of private defence of the body extends to the voluntarily causing of death causing of death causing of death of the assailant assailant means who is attacking that accused person the right of private defense of the body extends to voluntary causing of death of the assailant if the offense offense means that offense which that assailant is committing if the offense which occasions the exercise of the right be of such a nature that an assault as may reasonably cause the apprehension that death will otherwise be the consequences of such assault. I explain this provision with the help of example. Suppose Mr. A is assaulting Mr. B with a sharp deadly weapon like a big knife or sword. Mr. A is assaulting Mr. B with a sharp deadly weapon like big knife or sword. That means Mr. A is doing and doing very offense of very serious nature. He is assaulting B. He is making attack on B with a deadly sharp weapons. So here law gives to that B to right to defend his own body against that assault made by A. So here B can take private defense against A and B can make a counter attack upon that A and while doing so B while defending his body while doing so he may cause even the death of that Mr. A in exercise, in exercise of his right of private defense. Why B can do so? Because if suppose he do not take any steps to prevent such assault, if B do not take any steps, then it is sure that because of the assault committed by A, there will be consequences of the death of such B himself. So, because of the assault, the nature of the assault is such that there is an apprehension of death in the mind of B. Apprehension of death in the mind of D, B as a consequences of such assault, therefore, the law gives right to be to defend himself and while defending himself, he may even cause the death of that assailant Mr. A. So, in short, we have discussed the topic wherein legal provisions justifies the police encounters. 
or what are what is the scope or scope of this uh, legal provisions which enables the police to kill kill in such deadly dangerous criminals in police encounters so i stop here we will discuss further topic in our next part thank you